Está na. Okay, once again, we're back in action right now for the third and final map of this game between AT Gaming from India taking on against Orange Esports from Malaysia. It's D Train, and this is the map that will decide the winner of this tournament. Or, as you say, the winner of this match, this round of matches. <laughs> And of course, Orange Esports will be playing on T side for the time. In the first half, a couple of smokes going up in the middle lane section. Uh, Real also smoking up the alley section. We have Master down at the inner lower bomb side. And he spotted one, two guys. Smokes going up as well. Flash is going in. Looks like they're making a push for the inner B bomb site. And King is able to take one down. A star taking one down as well on the upper on the upper section. King once again dropping one more Ritz with the response. Dropping another guy as well. C4 has not gone down. And Ebra has actually ran past the C4 guy without realizing it. And he's still able to pick up another kill. We have a flanker from behind. Our real from CT connector wasn't able to pick up any kill. He's down to 39 HP. He's taking one three members. And Ritz comes out with the final kill. Wow, that was a pretty exciting stuff as Ebron actually ran across the C4 guy at the bomb site <laughs> without realizing that the guy was actually beside him. But his teammates saw him there and manages to take down the C4 guy. So one nail in the bag for ATE Gaming right now. As Orange Eastbound made a push down on T main. AT Gaming, couple of the Pharma C4 has gone down. So it's a pretty successful eco round as the C4 has gone down. A couple of smokes going up. Final member remaining, which is King inside the smoke. He's gonna pick up one. He's gonna drop the Diffuser Master. But definitely AT is gonna still get this round in the back. But the whole idea of that rush with that smoke is of course to get the plant. And they've actually done it, so definitely we are looking at a buy up at this next round. So AGE Gaming will have their hands full. Most of the players will have to do an upgrade. Let's see how the players are going to be setting up couple of the smokes and flashes going up as well once again super flashing there and Ebra is able to spot one which is King lying across from team main RWA and Jasper dropping two guys one inch so picking one more as well Ebra dropping another one from the alley section Jasper taking down Master with the AK-47 so we're down to the final member Ebra against three of the other guys Ebra once again taking Jasper down it's down to 19 HP versus our real 13 HP and Puffy 100 HP C4 has not gone down 50 seconds left on the clock it's finally gone down on the outer bomb site So be a tight situation and our real was lying and waiting just across below the tower section and they able to pick up this round orange esports is down by two to one at a great play there and this will force ATE to go on the eco oh a little miss Q there with the flash from our real Oh, a mistimed nade as well on his teammate, but gonna pick up two kills there. RWA and Jasper also picking up another kill. A real and King rounding off that eco round and tying things up at two all.
So starting things off right now into the fifth round of the first half and once again smokes and flashes going up at team main. Couple of CTs on top of the trains right now and Jasper is able to pick up one. And they will be dropping another one. Ariel taking one down. A star with the FAMAS kill on Ariel as well. Down from the middle section. A couple of players will be here. And King and Ariel already takes one down from the bomb side. Out of bomb side. SMX replies with the M4 kill as well. A couple of smokes going up. Poppy's gonna lie and win. It's spawn him down in the ladder section. Jasper is here. Teammate. C4 has gone down on the out of bomb side. SMX. And Master remaining. For ATE Gaming, no couple of the players will be down at the ladder section. Flashes across, one going for a defuse, another one covering. Jasper dropping in from teammate, one more guy remaining, and Jasper running off that round from teammate with the AK-47, dropping SMX and giving the round in favor of Orange Esports. And for the first time in this map, Orange Esports is leading. And they're playing with a very fluent uh, variation of this game, very um, interesting style. You know, it seems that they've been training on uh, uh, D train on a number of occasions already. And Jasper missing a number of the shots, being damaged down to 12 HP, still able to pick up two kills along the way as ATE goes on the eco. And Kings once again coming up to cover. And Jasper rounding off that round with four kills, or three kills, in fact. Pardon me. So very, very fluid style, very smooth. It looks like Orange has been training on, on, on D-Train a bit. A couple of the, the flashes and the smokes are all hitting the marks, getting on the right spots as well. Once again, the flash is going up. And our real with the AWP. It's been blinded, being counter flashed there by CT side as well. So there you go, Ebra takes one down, being taken down there. And of course, there was the grenade coming up from Ritz as well. SMX responds with the M4 kill. C4 has gone down, there's a flash going up. One more member remaining, and SMX hits off that round with a double kill. In fact, a triple kill, including the grenade as well. That looks like they're getting a little bit used to what Orange is doing at the outer bomb side. That's setting their players in the right position to counter them with the flashes and also picking up the kills. So let's see what Orange can do right now. Are they going to change the strategy or are they going to still stick to what they're doing? Once again, smokes and grenades, flashes going up. Looks like they will be doing the same old thing again. And Reeds will be up on the um, CT tower section. Or some of the, the players will call it the, the heaven. Grenade going up. C4 has been planted once again. Plenty of smoke. And Puffy takes one down. And Master King once again taking one more down. From the power box. And Reeds from tower is able to drop him. Ebra, in fact, was on tower, on tower and Ritz was from CT Connected. is able to drop him. Ebra jumping into team main, taking down our real with the AWP. Going for the defuse right now, down to Jasper and Puffy. Nice covering there from Ebra. Super covering. Puffy out of position. Doesn't realize that the C4 is actually in front. Not too sure. Might be a miscommunication going on there. But nice covering there from Ebra on his teammate. Getting that fuse down and tying the score at 4 all. Once again, the flashes and the nades goes off. The smoke goes off. And they realize that they'll be working their way across towards the outer bomb site right now. Ebra trying to find a nice location. Spamming through the smoke right now on the outer bomb site. Orange trying to make their way across. A star from CT Connector was able to take down one, which was King. Sees another guy spamming through. Ebra taking one down himself as well with the M4. Jasper responding with AK 47 HR from teammate. Taking Ebra down. And he will be. Shadow there taking SMX down once again. He's the only guy remaining. 
He will be taking on A-Star and Master. Realizing that they're probably somewhere across the outer bomb side. And Master with the M4 headshot on Jasper. And ATE Gaming gets that round in the back. 5-4. to four. Pretty intense, pretty fast and furious. They know what they're doing, and ATE is gaming. Uh, ATE gaming is responding pretty well to Orange Esports attacks. Couple of grenades going up in the middle bomb site, uh, the inner bomb site section from lower lane. Once again, reads SMX. And Ebra holding on, on the outer bomb side. Master and A star down at the inner bomb side. Smoking out. Looks like they're gonna just make a little rotation back. Puffy's gonna be hanging on the upper bomb side or the inner upper lane section. It's taken down there by A-Star. Couple of flashes going up and RWA is here. Oh, and he's taken down by SMX. He spots him first. But gets taken down instead. And Ebra responds with the FAMAS kill on King. A real missing a couple of the shots. Still finally able to take Ebra down. But Master is able to drop Jasper as well. Down to the final member and SMX rounding off that round, pushing across to T main. So it looks like the momentum is swinging back in favor of ATE Gaming from India once again, holding their own on the outer bomb site. Pretty stable so far, and Orange is in a bit of a tight spot as they need to go on the eco in this round. And A Star is gonna make a push up. Puffy is the first casualty. SMX taking one more down, and Jasper responded with the uh, pistol on him. But through the smoke, there, Master was able to spot him coming through down at out of bomb side. Ebra, as Ariel was trying to get a plant, but Ebra was there to deny him. That plant, so no additional cash will go to Orange Esports, but of course, they were still able to buy up. So, as the scoreline is reflecting 7 to 4, there you go once again, uh, middle AWP as our reel is there. Down from the ladder section, Puffy is taken down by A Star. And once again, they're trying to work their way across on the outer bomb site. Now we're on the screen of King. He's done a little rotation back. A real with the AWP. And Ebra holding on to the outer bomb site together with Riz and SMX. A star sporting a couple of the uh, members from Orange Esports making a little push down towards the inner bombsite section. And Jasper's gonna take one down on the upper lane section. RWA drops one. Master coming in with a double kill down on the lower lane. Jasper is trying to pick him off. Gets the kill. Sees one at the connector side as well. And they are trying to look for the C4 and they know Ebra knows that one of the guys will be rotating around from the alley section. And he sees him there, RW dropping him down as well. Get the C4, he's gonna try to go for the plant and there is a pincer, it's a pincer attack right now. Ebra and Ritz coming in from both sides, Jasper in a lot of trouble right now. And running straight into the crosshair of Ebra. He knows he's in trouble being squashed or being squeezed by the ATE gaming players. Attacking from both sides. Eight to four. AT Gaming is leading, playing D Train on the Orange Esports Challenge Season One. 
Number of uh, nades going out, spamming through the small Ebra takes one down and RWA is able to bring him down as well. Double kill there for RWA on the alley section as well, dropping SMX. Puffy, Jasper and RWA remaining. And we have one more guy, which is Master. And he's probably going to go for a save. C4 has gone down on the outer bomb side. Not too sure if Orange is gonna go on the hunt. Financially, they are not able to sacrifice the weapons. So it looks like they're gonna make a save. Terrorists win. And allow Master to pick up that save on his M4 as well. Five rounds in the back for Orange Esports. And finally, they broke through the other bomb site once again. Well, they're pretty successful early on, but of course, uh, AT Gaming adjusted a little bit uh, to their, their positions, making sure that they're still able to counter what's happening on the outer bomb site. Again, the smoke's going up there, outer bomb site. Let's take a look at Ebra screen. He spots one coming from teammate. He's going to spam through the smoke, making sure that those guys are there. And a rail running through the smoke there. Challenging Ebra knows that he's gonna reload after that's back to double kill there from master from ladder section Taking two members down a couple of flashes going up AT coming in very strongly No one's at tower as MX rounds over the double kill. He will be back by his teammate And bomb has been defused through the smoke as well great covering there by AT And we're down to the last round of the first half Once again, the flash is going up on the outer bomb side section, middle lane as well. Smoke's going up. Once again, Ibra holding onto his favorite position just across at the yellow barrel. Taking one down, real drops in with AK 47. HR SMS replies as well. The Demiox dropping another one with AK 47. A star taking on real dropping one, two members as well, including Jasper down to the final member, which is Puffy. And he's the one holding on to the C4, A Star, Master, and SMX remaining for AT Gaming. Locking down the outer bomb site. Leaving just one option for Puffy to make his move. He's gonna try to creep his way across, and he's being spotted there by Master. And he's gonna send the report back to his teammates. C4 is going to be going down. Master is going to try to pick up, and Puffy is going to make a run for it. Couple flashes going up, and there's no way he's going to make a run. Master picks up the kill, and A Star picks up the defuse, and it's 10 5 in favor of AT Gaming from India. Right now, start of the second half as we take a look at AT Gaming as they will be charging across once again to the outer bomb site. A similar strategy as they employ, but they are making use of the alley section as well. And SMX once again with a quick double kill. A real picking Ebra off below the tower. C4 is gonna go down at the outer bomb site. No, not yet. And a real picking off another kill as well. C4 has been dropped at the outer bomb site, so they're gonna look to try to secure a cross on the alley section. Master taking one down from CT connector and Jasper bidding off the contest from our real to snatch a frag as well and to give that round to Orange Esports, a much needed round for Orange Esports.
So a similar strategy used by AT Gaming on the other bomb side, just that uh, a little variation. They actually had quite a number of players on the uh, alley section, and once again they're going to go on a smoke. They will be smoking out on the outer bomb side, trying to go for the plant. C4 has been planted. That's the whole idea. And one more guy remaining as MX is able to pick up one kill on RWA with the P250. Uh, C4 has gone down. And that's the whole idea. Once again, similar strategies while looking at the situation. And uh, both teams has been able to execute their plan pretty well. And of course, right now... AT Gaming will be able to buy up in this round and it's crucial for Orange Esports to secure this round in the bag and to stay alive in this game. Once again for those who are joining us, it's a best of three. We're into the final, the third map of this game. AT Gaming winning the first map 16-5 the Inferno and of course uh, earlier on we've witnessed D nuke a comeback from Orange Esports 16 13 or 16 11 pretty close and because right now we are down to the final map where AT Gaming is leading by 10 to 7 and Ebra once again with the AK 47 takes two down Ariel and King takes the pressure of the team but SMX oh my goodness me out of nowhere this guy appears and turn the entire table around wow that is superb play by SMX Master is able to pick up the first kill of that round on our real and looks like Orange Esport is once again in a tight situation as they go on the eco and Jasper is able to sneak quietly around and able to pick up one of the AT gaming guys King once again opting to go for the max 7 and of course Ebra realizing that there's one guy behind him sends a grenade up to de delay the push down and Ebra it's going to secure and get the C4 planted down on B bomb side on the upper slope right now. And King coming in with the AK-47. Nicely done there by Orange Esports. Wow. They were on the eco, but what a quick turnaround there. And courtesy to King for picking up two kills as well. So it looks like Orange is back in the game. AT Gaming will probably be on the eco. There you go once again on the outer bomb site. Get a very similar strategy. Smoke is going up. They're gonna try to get a plant. And RWA denies them that plant with King in support as well. One more guy remaining. They know what is coming. They realize it's a very similar strategy that they were using against AT earlier on. And because he realized that was, the, that was the spot they were going for. That was the nearest spot to get a plant quickly, get the C4 down, and try to get the additional cash. So both sets of players are employing very similar strategies during the eco round on D train and it's something uh, some of the players can actually learn and picked up if you're looking at this match right now for those who are just starting off uh, playing CSGO uh, very effective strategy couple the smokes you must get to know how to throw the smokes land them on the right spots and you could just get the C4 down easily so once again the grenades going up there Looking at that situation, they're going to try to get the C4 down. Puffy picking up a double kill down at uh, the alley section. Spamming through Smoke King was able to take one down, which is A-Star. And we have one more guy remaining, which is Ebra. Let's take a look at his screen right now. 
They know he's somewhere there. They're going to smoke him up. He's going to go up into the train. He's going to try to move, maneuver across. <laughs> Taking a little bit too much damage. Slowing him down in the process. And Jasper was able to round off that round with his last bullet. Wow. 11 to 10. And again, looks like AT Gaming will be forced to go on the eco because they couldn't get the plant, uh, couldn't get the C4 down earlier on in that round. So it's going to cost them that additional cash. Let's see if they are going to be using the same tactic again. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. There you go, the smoke's coming up. These are the first signs that they are coming. And using an real response with a WP shot. Taking one down from the alley section. Puffy dropping one from T main as well. On the inner bomb side, King is able to take one down. And on T main, there's one coming across. He's trying to sneak across with the C4. He's not getting the plan. And RWA and King, combination of the two of them, is there to deny them. This time around, they actually delayed the rush a little bit. And they try to change the strategy a little bit. But of course, um, Orange Esports is waiting for them at the outer bomb side. And they have managed to tie the score at 11 all right now. Couple flashes going out there. T main across the outer bomb side. Players trying to get into position. Down lower bomb side, smoke's going up. Jasper will be in a bit of trouble right now. The inner bomb side, Ritz countering with the AK-47, taking one down. King taking another one down as well from the connector with his AK-47. C4 is going to go down on the A bomb side. An SMX response by taking down RWA as well. Puffy also drops one. Puffy drops two members. And we have one more guy remaining, which is Master. And he's going to be looking at a couple of flashes going up. Looks like C4's going to defuse. Nicely done there by Orange Esports. Grenades, flashes going up. No way he's going to spot that one coming. And it's AT is still able to buy up and it looks like once again they're gonna make a push down on the outer bomb site. Flashes coming through, smoke's going up, most of the players are, are being blinded for the time being. And there's the first kill out that we response in the connector taking one two down with the M4. C4 has gone down on bomb site B. And RW misses a number of the shots. Grenade taking one down A star from the tower section. Four big kills for RW. He aces the round! Whoa! Holy crap! 100% kills in that round. A huge ace there for RWA. Bringing the entire team up there. And Orange must be flying right now. Once again, tremendous effort there from both sets of players never giving up wonderful entertaining CSGO match to watch at this time round AT opts for the option to slow things down a little bit flash is going up I'm gonna take one down on the inner bomb side nice entry kill there from SMX taking down Jasper couple of the smokes going up C4 has gone down on in a bomb site. Grenade taking down one from Puffy. Lots, tremendous, tons of flashes. Goodness me. Wow. Master lying and waiting in the smoke was able to pick up Puffy. RW responds with another kill on Master as well. Flashes going up on the upper lane. They know there's one guy hiding there. Oh, Ebra once again picks up with the AK 47 headshot. Turns around and tries to go for it. So, and once again, so calm and cool with his AK-47. Just couple bullets, couple shots. And he's taken two kills in that round. Goodness me. 
just imagine the amount of flashes that was going on inside the inner B bomb site. I was, I was, I just keep hearing, you know, the, the, the flashes. My screen is completely white for at least six to seven seconds. Tremendous amount of flashing and most of the flashes hit their mark, you know. So, these players are really, really good with that. Well, credit must be given to them. They put in a lot of time and effort and doing trainings to set up uh, to also to strategize and get the things right. And that's why our real is able to pick up the first kill on the alley with the AWP. Couple of players still there. And oh, missing on that one. Crucial for our real couple flashes going out once again down at out of bombs at master able to pick up one two one kill risk dropping another one a star picking up another one with the AK-47 and looks like out of bombs that is going to be secure Jasper is the final guy remaining and he's going to take on a whole army of the AT gaming guys there's no way he can actually win that round so it's 13 all right now and the momentum just keeps swinging back and forth unbelievable match it's so close once again you can see the players setting up lots of smoke going up and looks like they are going to make another rotation for the inner bomb side Jasper on the inner bomb side here's a couple of the players on the upper lane section didn't really see them coming down and just for sees one. Oh, wasn't able to take down A star. But King was able to respond, taking one down. SMX trying to look for the other one as well. He's gonna reload. Oh, right in front of King. And he's gonna take one more down. Oh, Damir coming in from behind, running off that round. And there's one more guy remaining, which is Reese. And of course, RWA says, I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna take you down. And it's 14-13 to Orange Esports. Great team play there by Orange once again. We're in that situation again and it's probably the first time I'm looking at ATE. I think A-Star, if I'm not wrong, this guy exactly has the AWP with him. There you go. Pretty interesting. We saw that Master had the AWP early on at Nuke. So right now, A Star is the one holding on to the AWP. Oops. Drop down. Couple of the smokes going up. Looks like they're trying to counter. Our reels AWP as they try to make their way across on the alley section. Flash is going up. Oh, flash. oh nicely done there by A Star and RWA just picked the wrong time to come out. SMX responded as well, taking one down, and that was our reel with the AWP down at the alley section. And they are going to do a rotation back to inner bomb site very quickly, just like that. And the connector, CT connector guy was able to spot them rotating through, but it's too late to stop them from getting the C4 down at the inner bomb site. And Puffy was able to pick up one kill along the way, and Jasper dropping one as well across on the upper bomb site. And Ebra not realizing that Puffy just came across on top of the train uh, coming down from the uh, lower lane section was able to pick up that kill and he's going to pick up the AWP for our real as well and C4 is going to get defused and Orange Esports is in the comfort zone. It's all or nothing right now for ATE Gaming as they will need to buy up in this round. Couple of decoys, grenades. Not much of the smoke grenades going up, so they're pretty tight financially as you can, as you can tell. 
uh, most of the guys are saving up uh, for the weapons instead of getting the grenades a star spotted there at the upper bomb site section taking some damage down to 34 HP King was is once again assisting Jasper down at the uh, inner bomb site couple of smokes going up a star down to 10 HP right now and E Brown once again down in middle teammate was in figure one Jasper dropping one C4 in the inner bombs are Ariel taking one down A star was able to pick up one with the AK-47 C4 is gonna go down at the inner bombs are SMX and Master remaining taking on Ariel and RWA SMX gonna make a run for the uh, uh, for the ladder section and he made his way across towards the boiler Master dropping one Ariel missing the AWP Master taking one more down and that was a crucial round for ATE Gaming India is back alive. 14-15 <laughs> down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. Final round. It's now or never. Sets of players setting up once again. And ATE is slowing the pace down. I think this little little strategy is actually working against um, Orange Esports for the time being. And if you look at Orange, they're very very tight on the defense and they're very uh, cooperative against those fast pushers and rushers. Yeah, but you slow things down a little bit, and it takes the pace off the game. But Puffy's and Kane pulls off. The AWP on the upper lane section in inner bomb site, and they are down by two men. Puffy is down 14 HP, and they're gonna try to take down one from Tower Master. Asar taking one guy down as well. Our real being dropped on the outer bomb site. Two AKs taking two guys down. They're gonna make a push for it right now. Lining up the CT connector, just making sure they want to take one more guy down. Just a secure down. Puffy with 14 HP. Still able to take one down. A star, the final guy remaining. Jasper and King. Combination of these two. One Singaporean, one Malaysian. Taking on one Indian. Can they take him down? 2v1, 10 seconds left. He's not got the bomb down. Jasper running off the road. Not enough time. And they got it. Orange East.